morning. You will be working on my orangery today, won't you? Absolutely. My favorite project. Hmm. I just think it'd do us both good uh, to get away for the weekend. Away from the memories, you mean? Not been an easy time for either of us. <laughs> Though you seem better since you had the chat with Leanne. It helped. And I think it's an excellent idea. We haven't seen your cousins in a while. You'll phone them then? I will. <laughs> you know, you can be very thoughtful when you try. birthday. I've put some money in with your card. Thanks. Are you not going to open them? Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember when I was 16. Mm, really? Abba had just won the uh, Eurovision Song Contest. Waterloo! I was defeated, you won the war. <laughs> yeah, I used to sing it all the time. Poor Audrey. Well, it was better than the Wumbling song. That thing has been pinging ever since you arrived. It must be very popular. Oh, I am. No, it's just people from school texting me about this party. Everyone wants to come. Oh, well, that's very nice. It's only because of this gossip about Callum. Suddenly I'm a celeb. We are not going to mention that name today, please. I think it'd be very nice if just for today we could forget about all that. Agreed? I suppose. Sarah? Or am I the only one uh, making an effort round here? You're right, yeah, sure. Overslept. Did you manage to speak to Sarah? Yeah, I uh, went around last night. And? Well, I didn't get very far. She ended up uh, kicking me out. Are you coming to work or not? Not. So I've got to deal with the scary Yasmin woman on my own, eh? Come on, I need backup. You can't lie around here moping all day. Work. Take your mind off it. The red kite was wiped out in the British Isles. Is the same going to happen again? Farmers' leaders claim the birds are a threat to young lambs. And some farmers... Listen, no. to <coughs> I'll come back at lunch, right? We can talk then. Yeah? And coming up, services are Look, I'm sorry. It was an accident. You don't kiss someone by accident. I mean, it were a mistake. I was drunk. Oh, well, that's all right, then. As long as you only fancy other blokes when you're drunk. Uh, no, I don't fancy him. It was just being nice, that's all. Oh, yeah, I bet he was. Look, don't go blaming this on Aidan. He was the one that stopped me. So Eva was right, then? If he hadn't, you'd have done more. No, no, you're twisting everything. See, this had never even happened if we'd just gone out like we planned. Oh, so now you're blaming me? It's just sometimes you seem to put everyone else first. Gemma was upset. So was I. What, just because you missed out on your stupid modelling job? No, it's not just that. See, you're not listening, are you? What's the point? Chesney! Never. You snogged the boss. Still feels weird eating with my left hand. Yeah, uh, trying to get out of feeding yourself now, are you? Like you've got out of everything else. Excuse me. I didn't do it on purpose. Those barrels are very heavy. You mean you're old? <laughs> Got it in one, Amy. That's right, gang up on me. <laughs> Tracy, how many times? You can't just walk in here. Well, you shouldn't keep leaving the back door unlocked then, should you? Anyway, hello. Come to have a word with Amy. Listen, darling, isn't it about time you came home? Nope. Look, we miss you. Hey, even Eccles misses you. Well, you can always bring her to visit. Right, that's it. I've had enough. Go and pack a bag now. Do as you're told. Tracy. No, this stupid protest of hers has gone on long enough and you can stop encouraging her. Excuse me, it's not my fault. I can't help it if she prefers living here. And I do. Michelle makes proper porridge. Not that instant stuff you do in the microwave. She still manages to burn it. Look, maybe we should talk about this later. Uh, you can butt out. You're not even related. And you've got no right being in my house, so sling your up. I'm going nowhere. Not without my daughter. Looks like you're staying here, then. Steve, please, will you tell her? Well, I'm just going to kick her out. No, but you can kick her out, cos if you don't, I will. Oh, I'd like to see you try, your dozy mare. Oh, just go, will you? We were having a nice time till you came. You always have to spoil everything. Look, Amy, please, will you come home, darling? I miss you. It's a 
good job it's not just a family party or else it'd be a poor show. I mean, with Kylie taking Max swimming and Nick not here either. I do hope he's all right. Well, Nick, I mean, why does everything have to happen to this family? I mean, people are going to think we're cursed. Maybe we are. Oh, let me have a coffee. Maybe he'll make me feel better. Oh, thanks, Lou. And what's that? Don't know yet. Went to the house to check if there was any post, and a policeman gave me this. Said a young man left it for me. A young man? What did he look like? Um, I don't know, he didn't say. But I have a fair idea who it is. Josh Ladson. And who's Josh Ladson? Uh, just a boy in my class. He fancies me something rotten. Mm. Do you fancy him? Depends what he's got me. No, don't open it. What? <gasps> you don't know who it's from. So? Well, I think your mum just means that, uh, well, it might be something unpleasant. I mean, people do so all sorts of things when they read stuff in papers, you know? Send hate mail, that kind of thing. Don't be daft, I'm opening it anyway. Ah, see? Not off some nutter after all. <laughs> Why are you lounging around instead of doing something constructive? Uh, miss my day off. I'm allowed to lounge around. Men are not allowed to lounge around. Not when there's women in the house. Now, when you finished your lunch, you can tidy this place up. But it's my day off. So you keep saying, don't forget to do the bathroom. Right. We're going to pack. Why? Where are you going? To Newcastle for the weekend. Visiting the cousins. So you, my son, will have to feed my hens. That's Ali's job. Ali is out tonight. So you'll have to do it. Is she? Why can't I hear hammering? Did Pat and Jason not turn up? Pat did, Jason didn't. Perhaps he's been arrested. Again. <sighs> no such luck. Innocent until proven guilty. Remember? Oh, have you forgotten what he did to my sister? He's guilty of that, if nothing else. Don't even know why you employed him. But all that's over and done with. And guilty or innocent, if I'm paying him, I want him here. I shall have words with Pat. Yeah, well, he's gone for lunch. When did he clock off? I don't know. You see, how can I go? I need to be here to keep an eye on things. Hey, I'm here to keep an eye on things. Uh, you are one of the things I need to keep an eye on. He's a grown man. Exactly. Look, stop worrying. I'll make sure the builders don't skive. And I'll tidy the house from top to bottom. Now you and Grandad go enjoy yourselves. Ooh, good news. Uh, me and Z have got the house to ourselves tonight. Mm. Take it you're planning on making the most of it then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm off to buy myself some sex in your lingerie. Oh, well, enjoy. <laughs> Not you. I'm bored. Oh, well, there. Uh, when you're going out, your mum at a shop. Nice try, but no thanks. Look, I know she's a pain in the proverbial. What's a proverbial? I, but she loves you. You know that, don't you? Well, I'm not going back. I've given her plenty of chances, and she always blows it. You can't divorce your mum. You're stuck with her for life. I don't remember signing any contract. No, 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 no. Look, just give her some space, eh? It's her decision. See? Michelle understands. Right, listen, I'm going to finish my shift and then we'll do something nice together, yeah? Cool. I'm trying to work on you. Yes, I know, but you're not getting very far, are you? Yeah, but you playing at Bezzy's ain't exactly open, is it? It will. Trust me, you'll see. But if, if, if he breaks any of these, they won't be... Oh, it'll be fine, they know what they're doing. You realise that this will bring house prices down? We'll end up with negative equity. I think there are more important things at stake, Sharif. Ah, there you are. What time did you clock off? 12 o'clock. An hour. I suppose that's acceptable. I believe there was only one of you today. Yeah, Jace wasn't feeling quite up to it, what with everything that's going on. Well, I'm expecting you to work twice as hard to make up for it. Come on, that's we'll never get there. Going anywhere nice? Newcastle. Oh, don't bother taking any coals. <laughs> Although nowadays I'd probably be glad of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Camilla cup. 
I thought it fitting giving the circles that you're moving. Oh, I'm honoured. <laughs> and you can have Charles. Oh, no, thank you. Why? I didn't have you down as a Republican. Well, I'm not. I just don't like your tea. You make it too strong. Right, I'll fix us some lunch. Don't bother for me. Chase, you got to eat, mate. I might go down for this. No. You're not. I won't let it happen. Why? What are you going to do? I'll think of something. Like what? I may as well give in. No. No, you're not giving in and neither am I. Listen to me. I'm going to get you out of this, right? All you got to do is trust me. Chop some celery, could you? Do you think she's all right? Ooh. Bethany, I asked her to text me when she got there. She hasn't. Well, she's only gone bowling with her mates. No, not in chunks, in strips. It's for the dips. Anyway, you can't wrap your kids in cotton. Yeah, well, you don't know who could be out there. I never had you down as an anxious parent. Still, give them what you got up to. Oh, she's there. See? So what if it's not her and he's got a phone and he's put that? What do you mean, he? Who are you talking about? <sighs> Owns nothing. Oh, I just, you know, there's so many weirdos out there. And... Well, if you're that worried, why don't you ring her? But she won't thank you for No, me. no, you're right. I'm just, I'm being silly. <laughs> Did you sleep last night? No, not really. Yeah, well, that'll be it then. So why don't you go and get some fresh air, eh? While Harry's asleep. Yeah, OK. We need some more soft drinks. All done. Ah. Oh, and the new slates will be arriving when? Oh, the lad just rang. It'll be about ten minutes. Oh, good. Well, we wouldn't want you to spend the night roofless, would we? <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> right, well, either I give you what we agreed, minus the new slates, oh, or... I would prefer the full amount, and then I'll settle up with your man when he's finished. You're a canny man. Mind you, I don't blame you. Never trust anyone. No, it's a rule I live by. <laughs> Very wise. Just go and fetch the money. I've got it in an envelope ready. Thank you. <laughs> want to eat your words, do you? Not really. Uh. So when will I see you again? Who is that? Who is that you were with then? Just some loser I copped off with last night. It's a waste of space. Is that OK? Yeah, it's brilliant. Good at this, aren't you? Got an eye for it. I get that from my grandma Deirdre. She was artistic too. Swizzy's all for one wedding. Yep. Yeah. Hope it goes better than Carla's. Yeah, me too. Do you miss Robert? Yeah. Out of all my mum's boyfriends, he was the best. You know why? Mmm. Because he was a good cook? Well, yeah, that too. But mainly it was because my mum was better when he was around. He sort of calmed her down and she smiled more. I suppose she must be missing him too. I suppose. I'm missing you. Especially now she's lost Robert. Well, that was her own fault. Yeah, but we all make mistakes, don't we? Last thing we need is someone rubbing our nose in it. I do miss her, though. My mum. Why don't I uh, take you round then, now? Were you listening, Steve? This is a setup, isn't it? Of course not, no. You were just trying to play me. Well, it won't work. I don't want to drink. 
Neither do I. What are we doing here, then? Because Beth said... Oh, no. Right. I ain't blown. You're all the shame. Well, sit down, then. Look, this is silly. It was only a kiss. Only? Yes. It's hardly worth falling out over. Hang on, so does that mean like you kiss someone else? Of course not. It would be all right if I did. No, it flaming well wouldn't. Exactly. But it wasn't like that. Why? Who are you thinking of kissing, anyway? No one. Oh, liar. I've seen you smiling that woman at the chippy. Well, because she gives me extra chips. Yeah, but there's a few other extras she'd like to give you and all. Anyway, like well, I was saying... you and that delivery guy? You always go all giggly when you see him. Yeah, because he tells a good joke. He's ugly as sin. Now, if you look like Jamie Oliver... Oh, you snog Jamie Oliver? Well, only if you offered. Well, I snog Nigella. You what? Oh, I've had enough of this. Come on, we need to sort this out on our own. I can't believe it. I know. And you didn't even ask for my Camilla cup back. I've had that since 2005. <sighs> Frankly, that's the least of my worries at the moment. Well, I did try to warn you. Ah, not a sh... Oh, and I suppose you're going to say I told you so as well. I wouldn't dream of it. But you still need somebody to re-slate that roof. At a vastly inflated price, no doubt. Well, they do say it's going to rain. And if you want it done quickly... <laughs> I'm only joking, Norris. Listen, I'll cover the roof for you this evening, and I'll re-slate it first thing. Mates, rates, all of that. That's if you want me to, of course. Of course he does, don't you, Norris? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It'd be very good of you. Thank you. Happy to help. And now I think you owe me a drink. Oh, you've tied it up special. Uh, no, I haven't. Graham did it before she left. <laughs> Never think it's uncool to make an effort. Girls love it. I even hoovered once I figured out how to use it. <laughs> so, got the house to ourselves, have we? Yep. Good. Dinner's going to be ready in an hour. Gives us plenty of time. <laughs> there you are. Did you have to keep texting me like that? Anyone would think I was a little kid. I'm sorry. He's standing out here waiting for me. Talk about embarrassing. Just coming to see you. You okay? No. Sarah, talk to me. Please, it's not just Jason I'm worried about anymore, it's you. I can't. I can't talk to anybody, and that is the trouble. He's driving me mad. I can't bear seeing you like this, you know. Sarah, I'm here to help you. It's too late for that. I thought it was him. You thought it was who? Callum. I thought he was... But he can't be, can he? Because... I saw him and he was. He was definitely dead. You saw him die? No, I didn't say that. You, you said he was dead when you saw him? He was. Sarah, what happened? Sarah, tell me. Oh, hi. Is uh, Michelle there? What do you want her for? Uh, it's private. 
Well, she's busy at the moment. You could always tell me and I'll pass it on. I'd rather tell him yourself, only it's urgent. Well, you best come in and wait then. She won't be long. I have tried, I really have. Yeah, 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 I know. You just won't go away. Who won't, David? Callum. Yeah, he's just... He's out there all the time and he's here. He's just trying to get me to say it. Say what? What happened? Because then I'll be punished, but the more I try not to say it, the more I want to. Right, say it. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> say it to me. No, I can't. No one can know. Hey, Layla, listen, don't worry. It's our secret. Nobody's going to know. <laughs> hmm? Do you promise? I promise. Sarah, who killed him? <laughs> We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.